Did anybody see ya? Hey. Come into my house last night. Hey. I got your message in my beeper. That's when I do everything I like. All right. All right. To your girlfriend, the fact that she don't know that really turns me on. So now we just in a million years that we got this thing going on. You're my little secret, and that's how we should keep it. Never let them know, never let them okay. show. Okay, if you know, like I know, we you should never know. let them go. I was trying to harmonize. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> okay, a little practice. All here. right, yes. <laughs> Off the dome. Okay. Off the dome. <laughs> Period. All right. And if you don't know, now you know. Okay. That is the voice of Katie Hall <laughs> on the Vincent Tennell Show podcast with okay. Petite Nina. Yes. We've hey. been trying to get you in here forever. I know. That's what I was saying. I was like, Jesus, life is just steady taking control. Be like that Track practice, kids sick, I'm sick, everything. And you know what's crazy, though? I needed you today. Yes, like, and I was right on time. You were right on time. Won't you do it? Because I was like, I'm I'm tired. Of Katie, she be flaking on me. But look, this was the perfect day because this is the day you needed me the, the most. See how God works. Okay. Okay, in mysterious ways. Yes, right. I was right there to come. So and I we only was three minutes away. Me, it was Beyonce. I'm crying. <laughs> Beyonce is the guy. Because it was like, oh, see how Beyonce worked? I'm like, that wasn't Beyonce. First of all, you how were Beyonce going, she was going through something, and I sent her Beyonce new song, Break My Soul. You're not going to mm. break my soul. You I haven't heard, heard, it. heard it. People said it wasn't that good, it's though. Part of the list. I liked it. I got to hear it. I haven't yes, heard it. It was on the list. Yes, list. Really? Yes. I thought I did. I did not see it Beyonce. Was on the list. I saw her protege. Did I not? That was the oh, first song. Chloe. Yes, that's like we can't little get B. In, we can't get into that. That's little yet. Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> it is. So I'm not pulling her stuff to the side or something like that. Yes. I was side. like, okay. She said, pull it to the side. It's a surprise. You ain't got to take them off. Just pull it to the side. Man. Okay. That's a surprise. <laughs> I'm like, is this a surprise? Because he never had it. I didn't know what was going on. You know what? We might as well get into the list. We do have a list for today. We, we might do. as well get into Since it because we're, okay. we're already on already. music. I know. So, no, might as well. So, okay. Saying, Chloe, surprise, yeah. first song. Because we don't, oh, you have it. Yeah, it's Okay. She okay. got the list. She's gone. Chloe, surprise. I like the song. How I about like y'all? I like the video. And I like the video. Yeah. The video was nice. Video. It was oh, really nice. Her body is banging. It is. It is banging. She got a nice body. You yeah, know, she do. that guy is like, um, he was an insecure. You watch Insecure? Really? Yes, I do. Was, yes. I, I got to zoom in He's on him. So I wasn't pretty. paying attention to him. He's she so had my pretty. focus. <laughs> All right, she had mine too, though. But I yeah, I didn't know. notice. Who, which character is he from Insecure? He's just, you know, there. a love interest. He's just there. He's sexy. <laughs> who was he with? Issa? Um, no. Nobody knows. No, he wasn't, no. It had to be Molly and then. He wasn't a main character. He, he wasn't the main character. Yeah. He was just, he you know. He probably was with Molly because she had a lot of one-night stands on the show. Yeah, she was the freak. That's his favorite That's his Remember sensitive. when her and Issa got That's into it and she told me? subject for me. No, she was, though. And she was proud of it. My ex told me I wanted to be Molly. Really? I she was very promiscuous. Sleep with everybody. Yes. I'm like, she wasn't even out there like that. But yes, then she you was. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Every episode, she had a new boo. She even went to the Asian dude, the black dude, light skin, and she, she had everybody. She, she didn't. didn't. She did not discriminate. If you was fine, See, she wanted you. If I'm Molly, I don't discriminate. So y'all can then stop you saying Molly. I'm racist. <laughs> so. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a preference, I don't think having a preference a makes you man. racist. My preference is dark skin. It is. Tall, dark, and handsome. I was just about to say that. Tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> With bedroom eyes. No. <laughs> nice feet. But you know what? I oh, like. She is a Plus, I lied though <laughs> on one of those episodes. I was you asked me would I date a short person Ooh, shorter Jesus. than me? Right. I think I would. How tall are you? I'm five five. Okay, yeah, that's five, too short. Six. But I, I'm five. Ever one. since she said that, I've been coming across some cute short ass men are on Instagram. Mm-mm. <laughs> are you talking to him? Uh, do you know Mark Lamont Hill? Absolutely not. Oh, okay, she don't. don't watch the news. You you know. I don't know who oh. he is either. Uh, y'all don't watch Fox News? I guess not. I, don't <laughs> know. <laughs> I get all my news from uh, the little news apps I have. He's a famous commentary part, like, you know, 
Tavis Smiley. Okay, yeah. He's, he's like the new Tavis Smiley. Okay, you okay. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. He's real short. And there's just been a lot. Ever since she said that, I've been like, ooh, I've been seeing so many short, cute men. But just because yeah. you said it don't mean you're entertaining them. Yeah. I'm not entertaining That's anybody. That's why they're cute, because they're short. Because so you got to get oh, this so Molly rep. Oh, yeah. No. That's why I said I'm 5'1", and I don't want to date a short guy, because I don't want people to think we're cute together. No, that's not <laughs> like, it. They, but they have still all been chocolate. <laughs> we're a cute short couple. Uh, listen. <laughs> I do not condone the words coming out of Katie's <laughs> mouth on the BTS podcast. I like short people. I like I'm tall not people. I'm short guys are not fine. Just anything, make sure you have I'm a vein in the middle. Okay? You. you gotta be at least five, 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 six, something to ride like that. that ride. Yeah, I'm five one, so I don't need nobody that's five one, five two, You're five, five three. One. Yes, You're I five am. Nine? Yes. Stand up. I'm five, I'm five, I got wedges on. Oh, oh yeah, that's okay. Right. <laughs> you know, like, I just you know, like, like what? It's just so crazy because every time I say I'm five one, people debate me to the point where somebody actually took a tape measure and measured I me just, and I was like what do we say and he was like 5'1 I'm like exactly you have a tall personality I do you know I, it I, I, I have the confidence of a girl that's 6 foot oh, okay <laughs> that's nice but I was just walking next to you and you did not see yeah cause I have wedges like, on but you know I do that too I be wearing my platform yeah one thing I learned to do though I Which use ones? the ones you're supposed to give them I'm done. You can never rock them like me. Not it doesn't off your hand. But let me tell you, I had to use the bathroom at work, child. I was cute in my Crocs. I'm crying. Until you guys to be on the toilet, and then everybody knows you because you're the only one with some Crocs. Oh my god, your feet gonna be hot and slippery. You'll be sweating. You better work some socks and Crocs. Socks and Crocs. No. Socks and cocks. I'm so I'm serious. Back to the music. <laughs> Next song. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe started all of that. Okay. <laughs> that quick. That quick. <laughs> so the next song Real quick. is LMA. LMA. I love LMA. Break my heart. This is off her new album. I love her. Highly anticipated album. So I really like LMA, but that's not one of my favorite songs. That's not one of my favorite songs. I didn't really like it either like that. Yep. I feel like it's better music. I've, that's what I'm saying. I it's like the song. It's an album it's, cut, okay? okay well, it's one of, I it like was it, cut. It's not, Maybe I was going through something. Yeah, that's what I noticed through the whole song list. It was like a, <laughs> I felt like I was going through something. I started thinking about my personal this? <laughs> oh, oh, why did you give me this song list? I was like, starting again. I said something about that. I was like, said something with you, and you was like, well, just wait till you get the list. Because I'm like, what is he on? That's After the list, like, you get the crying. Like, like, forget him. Like, man, this has been a week, y'all. This has been a week, okay? Okay. Man, a real there? week. Okay, it was no crunk. I almost music. lost my virginity. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm about to go. Not 40 year old version. No, I mean, once you've been celibate for four years, you get it back. Oh, the so cherry grow back. Born Christian. <laughs> Somewhat. <laughs> Something like it. Like, Something insane. like it. You went through a heartbreak. Okay. I'm not going through a heartbreak. Okay, so we're going to go to yeah. Neo. Don't going love me. How <laughs> <laughs> does someone that's been celibate for four years go through a heartbreak? In less than a week. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm still dating. You didn't say you weren't dating. Oh, wow. You got I some mean, good choices. Not this week. Oh, oh wow. Last week, his heart got broke. I have no potentials right now. The oh, slate Lord. is clean. Y'all Everybody got wiped the fuck out. Oh, we look at for guys that are tall. Yeah. Well, you could be at least 5'5". Five, five. Listen. With brown eyes. Love, like love songs. Eyes. Okay, Neo, do you uh, do you love me? Don't love me. Sorry. <laughs> What's the that name of the song? That song made me think about me. my life. Don't love me. Oh, so you going through it too? Yes. <laughs> I didn't realize I was going through it until I, I heard that face. song. <laughs> when I started listening to that song, I was like, I need to send this to him. I like uh, the video too, though. Yeah, and I like the video. Had the the man like from P girl. Valley, like the, the security guard. Man. You watch P Valley? No, I have never really? watched you that one. What? I know, I'm terrible. It seems so up your alley. I know, right? I just, <laughs> you know what? I just started watching uh, Bad Boys of L.A. last night. I have not seen and that. And I'm addicted. You're addicted? I'm addicted. When I say that's got to be the funniest reality show that ever hit TV, I'm oh, telling Zeus. you, that is... There's yes. another one. It's about females. It's not like a bad girls club, but it's... Oh, that's Baddies uh, yeah, of baddies LA. Of yeah, something. they had Baddies of uh, Atlanta. Have you watched uh, that? Yes, I have. See, I, I watched last season and like, this season. What am I missing out But on? with the second season, they don't have girls that came originally from Bad Girls Club. Now it's like when you watch TV or reality shows and you're like, she should have been on Bad Girls Club. Right, that's exactly how it is. They have added those girls. That's exactly how it is. Because they got... Um, 
What's her name? Uh, blue face uh, girlfriend on there with the missing tooth. Uh, oh the one she that done, be fighting his mom all the time. Yeah, she done whipped the girl Persuasia into the kitchen sink. Her, that's her name? I felt so her, bad Persuasia. for her. Persuasia. <laughs> and I feel like <laughs> all she said name. was she, her name is Persuasia. I feel so bad. You got that? You got that? Her name is Persuasion. She down bad. Persuasion. Off of name from day one. That, I, I don't know <laughs> if it's a stripper name or her birth name, but that's her name. Persuasion. Yeah. It's she, almost like Malaysia. Yeah, and that's the one that was name. dating um, uh, Blackface, like her name is Rock. Wives. She calls herself Rock. I, okay. I and she's I like know. a football player and stuff, so I knew she was going to beat that girl up. She, wait, she's, she's a stud? No, she's not a stud. She's yeah. just strong as hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, strong as hell. She came in the house ready for somebody to she try her. Ready. She wanted yeah. It. She wanted as soon it. as the girl said, well, you don't be cleaning, it was like before she can get it out, she... she I, beat her. Think, I think I need to be on Whoop a show like that. into the kitchen sink. She had to set the record. I, need, I got a lot of anger to they gonna take They're going to say, out. she done washed the dishes. <laughs> I feel so Not bad. The bad. <laughs> I said, that is terrible. But yes. I feel like I would fare well in a show like that. I think, think? I think you should be on Bad Boys. Uh, Jonathan, not finna. Everybody keep talking I about Jonathan and whooping everybody in the house. He, he ain't finna whoop me. Is Jonathan whooping everybody in the house? Which one is Jonathan? Oh, you the, the big husky one. No, um, I, did, I see have, the little uh, clips on Twitter. What's his name? Jarrell. Um, Mon- Anthony, he's the money, the money guy. Oh, uh, yeah, where the at, money resides. Reside. Yes. Yeah, his name is Jarrell. He was on yeah, Valley. He had a little baby. cameo. Really? Yes, he did. I've never seen him in some yes. show, but he is funny. He done got the two white boys to fight. The fight was terrible. They could not fight at all. He act like he was somebody's mama. He Wait, said, there's white boys on there. Yes. They, I only um, see the niggas. Every clip the is niggas. That's the they're kid. the baddie Thomas and the baddie Matthew that's or something like that. No, that's their name. Like they're like famous. And one of them is dumb thick. So oh, they're like, like yes, the, he's dumb they're the male Clermont like, twins. Super like, thick, Jesus natural Christ. thick, booty, all that. All that. How he I used said, to be a year ago. Because I got ass. Is he gay? They're all gay. Oh, what? Except, wait, except but for the two they, dudes they that said supposed they not. Yeah, supposed to be Trey. And Kirk son is Trey. Oh, Kirk Franklin's son is on there. Yes. He, he's borderline. He got beat up because he didn't. Baby, that show is wow. I'm of course, he got beat up. Christian fucks on leaving Biden. Bad Boys of L.A. Bad Boys of L.A. Yes, they turned they up. I'm telling there. you, yes. Oh. So when the two white boys is fighting, he's like, if you don't whoop him, I'm going to whoop you. Oh, somebody mama. Like, yeah. And then they was like, oh, so let me find out you somebody grandma, though. That part. And then he really did it. I- he whooped both of them because they didn't fight <laughs> each other. They didn't other. fight each other? Oh, he, yes. was, he wasn't lying. He whooped him into the bushes. The boy, his name Dylan, he got so scared, he ran in the, in the little studio and didn't want to come out. I'm still stuck. I didn't know there were white people in the show. Yes. They get no and play. They was like in, the, in the trailer, they got no play. Really? Nobody sees them. Well, on the show, he didn't watch the They're play. a surprise. One of the white boys? Both of them. Both of them? Yes. Gotta watch it. Are they just light skinned? No, they're white. They're, right. <laughs> they're, they're white. They're still trying to be white. Why can't they be white? <laughs> I'm just saying, how come I've never seen them? Their title is The Baddies. They're The Baddies. Of course they are. That's like appropriation to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cultural appropriation. Yeah, they're, the they're, they're the baddest. Yeah, but they're like the baddest is like the baddest bitch type shit. They you know wish. what I'm saying? Because he's like dumb oh, thick. Because <laughs> he's dumb <laughs> thick. He got the ass. I don't even know how they look. So, yeah, he, he a thick. He a thick yeah, white he boy. thick. He got booty. Remind me of a person I know in Springfield. He think he. Mm, anyway. uh, he think he oh, thick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't really Neo song, like was you okay. song was great. Neo song was great. Okay. Yes. Uh, next one, Erica Campbell, positive. That's our Christian mm. song of the day. So we I, have to like it. I love Erica, so we got to be positive about yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. And we were just talking about we need positivity. I just couldn't determine whether it was a church song or if she was trying to switch over. I'm not. It's an inspiration. <laughs> it was more like an r and but they've always been R and B though. But the whole R and B gospel. Now, this is I don't, did R&B she say God or up. Jesus at all? Does she have to I'm though? To well, I don't, I'm about I don't, to I don't, go. I don't know. Why does she? So now she's becoming a regular R and B artist. What's wrong with that though? Nothing. She's not just prepare me out. for the crossover. Prepare you. Yes, I'm ready she to feel a uh, revelation. Did, were y'all prepared when <laughs> R. Kelly had a gospel album? Well, he made me believe I could fly. <laughs> <laughs> That was a transition <laughs> song. That, that was, was a transition. That was him letting you her know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, I'm about to I can fly. I am a tall tree. Yeah, that was fun. We say that my eighth grade 
graduation. So that was, he, he let you That song aged yeah, nicely. So, so R. Kelly mixed it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Erica Campbell. She's trying to mix it up. Next thing I know, she was like, you don't love God? What's wrong with you? you? All I was right. Like, okay, we getting hood now. <laughs> they now we just they are from over. Compton. Just like that. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. They don't sense. play. They ready. Um, next song, Mooney Long, Pain. I love I that. Money Long. Money, Money Long. Long. I thought it was Mooney, too. Money and, Long. And I thought it was. Now, y'all, did y'all know her as Priscilla Renee? Who's that? I heard that. She came out like 10 years ago under a different name. Mm-hmm. And a she look. Did? Yes. She cut her she hair, like changed her. She didn't no. look like that. I think she got plastic she surgery. Now? She looked at more like um, she was biracial to me the first time around, too. You think so? You think she I think so, black? too. She looked, I don't at, no, think she looked so. at more like she, she looked was more like black Asian to me. and black or something. Oh, I, I can now see that. She looks more like a black girl. Like a black. I can oh, s- I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's like she changed her whole look, her whole swag, her music. She looks changed. completely different. Yeah, There's no way she looked. Back then? I don't know. I don't she she had she was more pop then, but did y'all know she wrote California King Bed for Rihanna? Mm. I don't even she song. she turned okay, into right. a songwriter. In this California King Bed, even Zach know that song, no, he don't doesn't. you? He's no, like, he don't. In this California King Bed, oh, I I, I have heard we're ten thousand miles apart. Okay, yeah. I feel like you just wanted yeah. to break out. Right, song. you just I, wanted to sing. Y'all didn't know. Y'all didn't know. Y'all didn't know. Okay, Kelly. Uh, I, I was trying to help y'all out. Okay, we Don't, remember now. I'm just trying to remember. Yeah. I, mean, I, I did. Know. You know, I was like, huh, what? He was like, hold on. That's why you need to be on Bad Boys LA, so you can be in there singing. Oh, my goodness. I would definitely watch They're going to be in there like, I am so sick of him singing every day. Oh, and I'd be like, I'm so sick of y'all doing nothing. Show me something. Okay, talent, period. please walk through the door Where anytime now. Reside. Okay? Oh. Where the talent resides. Oh, period. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we already got us a line. All okay. right? So, Catchphrase. Okay. Oh, that, that's so, my okay. Money Long has been killing it. Yes. yes. And yes. Time Machine. Yeah, hours and hours. I time machine. Yeah, when I think about it, it and then I think about it, I think about it. Time machine. Like that. With, uh, t- uh, with and, Tiana. And, 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 okay. Me and yeah, Tiana yeah. is singing that. Oh the God. first time I seen it was on TikTok. I didn't know it was her song another day, and the girl was just all on the ground breaking down. I was like, I want to <laughs> do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I was like, I need to download this song and do the this. The thing about it is, I kept saying, I know this voice. And I know right. this voice. So she still but it was the same. She still sounds the same. Mm. Yes. And then you went back and did some digging, you're like, that's why. That's why. Mm. She just rebranded herself. herself. Yeah, see, for me, I seen something on TV, and they were, like, talking about it, but I didn't know who she was back then. I just seen that she had did a whole change, and she had cut her yeah. hair off she's, and dyed it gray. She's written a lot No, of now, songs. when she came out with uh, Hours and Hours. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I said I need to lose 50 pounds. So and then I, I didn't like know she long. was the same chick that sung Wait, Sneaky what? Link. Yes. So yes. she's versatile with her vocals. She's like a Rihanna. You can hear her doing different. She's written a lot of, music, of songs for Rihanna. Pop, rap, whatever. That's, that's why I said when it. she yeah. first came out, she was singing pop songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and then she just mm-hmm. kind of changed it. She changed it. But we're here for anything mm-hmm. she wants. Pain. Yeah, I love the her. song was Pain. Yes. yes. I that's love that, that Pain. That's I love that, that song Pain. Too. I like that song better than the other one that they play all the, all the time. What is it called? Another. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that pain like better pain than now. another, but they play another more than they play that. Pain. And I, like and I don't pain know why. Too. Yeah, me too. Well, she had pain playing on Instagram one day, like in mm. the background, uh-huh. and the fans were like, "What What's is that?" that? Oh, Come, really? Yeah. yeah. Before she even released so it. it was more like a fan favorite. You get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah, I'm, a sure. fan. I'm yeah. a fan. Yeah, I love yeah. that song. And I was one of the fans. fans. I was one of them. Like, you need to crying. release I that. Feeling. I hope he knock him in the dirt too. Yes, That's because right. I'm tired of acting <laughs> like you got to feel good for people yeah. you don't want to feel good about. And I'm sorry. to feel the pain. And wish that they feel the pain. Okay. Just don't cause the pain. This don't go to jail. That part. Just wish it. The main part. The main part. They go pray. God, please forgive me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, next song, JoJo Dissolve. Now, I know y'all ain't gonna like that this song because it's slow to y'all. It's a jazz song. We're very versatile here I at the BTS jazz, podcast. That was a little too... It's a cool... It's not for me, but... Why isn't it for you? Y'all don't, don't slow know, dance? Just, 
Yes, Y'all I do. mean it's for it's good for like like you said like a maybe well it's not really a slow dance yeah, song yeah. but it'll be that song that's playing and I don't really hear like it like when you clean the house and just zone out <laughs> the shade <laughs> like oh what was that I was cleaning I was like then the next song come on you like okay now they jam yeah right like I really think it showcases JoJo in a different light and she can do anything. Okay, and we're talking about JoJo from back in the day. Yes, Lee, okay, get out. That, so I don't think you sent that to me. What you mean? Because I'm thinking about the guy. It was another song by a guy that was really slow, and I was like, yeah, he could have kept this one. You, she, she oh. talking about a song she ain't even okay, heard. So now I got to hear the JoJo song. You got to listen to that. Oh, yeah. Lord. Because it wasn't in that list. You got to listen to that. Or the Beyonce. The Beyonce was in the list. Beyonce is next. That's the one that's next. I gotta get my phone and I'm gonna go. But even if I didn't send it to you, how have you been under a rock? Everybody's been playing that song on TikTok. TikTok. I don't be on TikTok. I work full time. I'm a mom. Like, listen. The only time I hear new songs is when I play iHeartRadio and so on. iHeart, girl. No. Yes. I mean, no, nothing against iHeart. That's how I listen to WGCI and feel like I'm still in Chicago. I'm saying. Yesterday. With Charlotte, with Charmaine, Charmaine. Yeah, yeah. I love YouTube WGCI. recommends everything I need to hear. All my mm. new stuff, what they think I would like. That's okay. how I stay abreast on a lot of stuff. Okay. I just press the playlist. I just listen to WCI. So yeah, Beyonce, Break My Soul. I, I love it. it. I like the song, but it's, I like. It's I'm 90s not, reminisce. Yeah, like, it's not like, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? You got the celebrities or them, these it's artists. It's different, they like to come though. Back for who? It's not it, though. It, it's it, okay. It's not. She different. said for who? It's house music. So it you, is. okay, you it's like house music? Yeah. Trying to turn up a little. Like um, yeah, it's like back in the day, house music though. Because like, like it's sampled off that, off that one song, the one that yeah. old song, that dun, old song. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, 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 oh, okay, it's, well, it's that's, that. That's not like Chicago's house music. That sounds more like uh, your parents back in the day. Yes, it is. It is. <laughs> like, I'm so, saying uh, we are the champions. But I'm saying I like that. She's bringing that sound back. Okay, I'm gonna have to check it out. It's light, own. it's fun. It is fun, and I do like the song, but it's not like how everybody is making it. Like, oh, it was like I was on the um, like on the what is it, on uh, satellite radio today. Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, Beyonce is hit her. She's coming back. She break a record. Da, 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 da. Everybody loves the song. Then the song come on. I'm like, it's a nice song, but it's not nothing. Maybe because yeah, I'm not. See, I read maybe I'm not a diehard Beyonce fan. Maybe yeah, I read the opposite. Uh, the article I read online, I hadn't heard the song. I didn't yeah. know what the name of it was, but they was feeling like Beyonce dropped the ball. That the song was not as good. It's not as all what bad. She's been bringing. It's and um, I said to myself that I was gonna listen to. It's it. like she copied somebody. No offense. But it's like she uh, went back and just, you know, they take, artists take older songs and just kind of yeah. make it more hip. You guys are never happy. That's all she did. And That's, we can never make y'all Beyonce. happy. We are committed to her. being miserable. I am a beehive. I'm sorry. I love her, but... There are a couple songs. You that can't be a beehive and not like this. Song. You can't be a beehive and not just like, like every song she makes. She's a genius. You don't have to kiss somebody's booty to be the gay. Only yeah. song, the only song I don't like by Beyonce, and y'all not going to believe this, what? is Dance For You. Oh, you crazy. I don't like that I song. Love that song. I love that song. I was single. I was wishing I had a man just so I could dance <laughs> with him. <laughs> I'm about to go, y'all. I was like, I'm going to learn this. I can pop it, drop it, lock it, all that. I, I can ready. find another song to pop and lock in. Well, I did not like her song, uh, uh, Girls Run The World or whatever. Yeah, that, that was. Who Run The World? Girl, no, I didn't like that. that. Went, um, I was yeah. not feeling that. I, so what you doing? You now you starting to not but like I'm, the song. I'm, I'm like, saying the songs that count. <laughs> I'm all, fast, the like, songs oh, that yeah, count. So. I'm all in. <laughs> Don't nobody be checking for dance for you. Me myself. Wow. Not. That's <laughs> that's <shame. laughs> like, I don't think that's true. Because everybody was dancing for that man when that song came out. And that's why they ain't got no man now. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> and she still got her man. Didn't hold that's up crazy. well. Oh, what did y'all do I mean, wrong? she had on Monday, Tuesday, <laughs> Wednesday. Uh-huh. But anyway. Wow, next song. Okay. <laughs> Chris Brown. <laughs> okay, I didn't like that. Chris Warm Brown. Warm Embrace. Warm Embrace. That Please. was very I like unique. It. I like, I like Normani in the video. Yeah, yeah. that was very Yeah, unique. I like that because I, like I like Chris, Chris Brown. I'm a Chris Brown fan. He yeah, can do no wrong. He really, he really can't. can't. <laughs> yeah. I love you, he's Chris. He's been keeping his hands to himself. He can't do that, but mm. hey. He's, he's been right. doing it. Oh. And he may be a colorist, He just but... needs to find him a girlfriend that like it rough in the bed. Right, so he can put his hands on that. Yeah, he can channel that energy into some good sex. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, feel like, uh, I feel like you have put yourself, like you're advertising.
advertising for Chris. Right. This is what you need. Right. Coming to the bad side. Okay, this is what you need, Chris. <laughs> I won't report Let you. me get you right. Stop oh getting them girls that don't like it rough in the room. Okay, the mixed mulatto chicks. Ooh. Ooh, the shade. Okay. <laughs> the shade, literally. Okay. The wrong shade. The wrong shade. Next song. The wrong shade. Song. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong shade. Uh, PJ Morton, please don't walk away. Maybe that was, no. Was that it? That's probably the one that you're talking about. Please well, don't walk one. away. Yeah, that's probably what you were talking about. It's a, it's a guy. And yeah, it's a, it's a slow song. song. That's probably what you're talking Maybe about. Maybe so. He's from New Orleans. He's been on one of our lists before. Yeah. He, um, once again, he's more that blues jazz yeah, style. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like you don't like jazz. I love jazz. Ooh, I just cool. Like Jill that. Scott. I'm about to go. <laughs> Let's take. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all back, bro. Okay. Okay. So how do you spell her name? Is it Lakia or Lakia? Lakia. Lakia. Okay. Lakia. I liked her. Record straight. She's the third city girl. I liked her. We're trying to get her. To you pop. like the song, or you just like her? You I like, like her. her. I've never heard of her. Okay. Oh, she's on. I like that. Uh, girl. She's I on like the that quality more. control. Okay. That yeah. record, you yeah. know. Okay, yeah. I like, I've never heard of her. Never seen her before then. But. It's crazy because I don't listen to a lot of rap, but I find myself liking a lot of female like rappers. rappers. She yes. reminded me a lot of when Cardi first came out. Um, that's why I was jamming to it. Now, the next song, I have my critique. Flo Millie? Yes. She he... was a chocolate Nikki to me. I'm uh, just being honest. A lot of her ad-libs. I'm, I'm she... a barb. <laughs> so the way that she was rapping, I felt like she was just Nikki's gonna Nikki. have some influence over the girls. It's quite I natural. I mean, yes, but I felt like she took Nikki's song and performed it for. Her. Ooh, just like well, okay. That is how I felt. Don't just see opinion. my face right now, y'all. That's, Did you see the video? He didn't see none of this. It was my first uh, time. Oh, oh. <laughs> Zach said he don't get the list. I didn't get the list either. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry, Zach. I didn't know you wanted the list. <laughs> he didn't think I wanted the list either. <laughs> yes, I felt like she was a chocolate Nikki, and just her whole vibe, everything was just a remake of Nikki. I think you should listen to some I feel more like songs. She'll do good. She has a lot of songs. I do like her. I don't think she's a copy of Nikki though. Why Maybe, that Maybe that song. Maybe that song. She's animated. She even was like, she's ah, animated. She was doing everything that Nikki does. She, so you're watching like really. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, this is another Nikki fan. Wow. Not that that's bad. It's wow. not anything wrong with it because I love Nikki. But I just felt like I didn't see anything like, anything that's different. Um, right, right. Like, it wasn't exactly authentic. That, you were trying to see what sets her apart from the girl. It was like right. nothing. It was like how everybody said Nikki was Lil' Kim. We uh, kind of got back into but that. But that was, okay. Me. They only said that because of the look. Yeah. But they never sounded alike but to me. But what about when you have the look and, and the sound? Yeah, and the sound. Because <sighs> she had the look, the sound, and then she had Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B's hairstyle from WAP. She definitely did. You're reading the girl. <laughs> You're <laughs> really reading the girl. I'm saying. That's what they also bring it back they to 90s too. From BAPS. Yeah. Be BAPS. Yep, that's yeah, what it was it. everything that Nikki did. Not That's so, what I'm talking We can say she was a little bit of Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi, but for sure Nikki. The one time I we like to put rappers on the list, you guys just go ham. Because usually I keep it R&B. I didn't even say nothing. I was just like, yeah, I see what she's talking about. I'm sorry. I, I could be, I'm the I Wendy Williams of the like group. Them. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God. I'm just saying. Canceled. What I saw. <laughs> It was like a like I was critiquing the video, and, and that like, oh, concludes okay. the list. Though that concludes the list. Are you guys ready for our guest? Okay, we're gonna, we got, we're gonna call him. I'm waiting <coughs> for him. I said, "Are you ready?" Oh Lord, our special much. guest. Y'all got a pen or something? No. A pen. What is that? That looks like something for me to eat. I got it. That looks like something to eat. What is that? <laughs> What is um, that? You're talking to you. Me? Yes, what is that in your oh, bag? This is a plastic food. baggie. Oh, try it. Oh, try my God. One. That looks like try one. It looked like bird food, but try it. It looks like something that is mixed with cannabis. That's it's why not. I did one of those. <laughs> I thought that's what it could have been. Like, he's like, we're going to crank this show up tonight. I don't do right. those. Like, oh, we starting out early, aren't we? I don't we? do those okay. things. Do he said it looks steaks? like bird food. I don't need cannabis, Let's too. See, what is I don't eat cannabis food, either. I don't eat cannabis food. What is What is in this? It's seaweed. <laughs> it's sesame it's seeds. Not, it's kind of like oatmeal. It's called hemp bites. 
And then it's called him. So it's, wait. <laughs> but it's not, I told you, I know my accent. <laughs> the next, next thing. Wait. It's not marijuana. It's, it's close camp. to it. Real close. So close that it's pronounced. Y'all same. keep on talking while I get our guests ready. Okay. Okay. Like anyway. this, it's good. This is seedy. So that's where the bird food comes in. It's good, right? It is good. I is it healthy? On drink. Yeah, it's right. so thick. You get you a choke. It's like <laughs> it's dry. Yes. It's made it dry. It don't yeah. look dry though. It looks juicy. You try it, Zach. I've never it's seen like, something that's it's juicy. Like oatmeal. It's not weed. Yeah, I agree. It tastes like raisins or something in it too. This y'all said like the oatmeal. You can the tell raisin. who ain't been nowhere. Mm-mm. I've been everywhere. Now we not bougie. <laughs> <laughs> I've been everywhere. Y'all don't know this bougie and food. I, 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 I. It must be vegan. <laughs> is it vegan? It, it yes. Is. I know it must it's be vegan. It's vegan food. Mm. Even though I'm not a vegan, but Jesus. Is so no, thick you were talking about. No, no, like, <laughs> I'm still chewing. Like what is going on here? Thank y'all, I got good teeth. Man, <laughs> that part. Jesus. Jesus you Christ. made these or they store bought? No, them. Food Fantasies. What's you know, Food Fantasy? Over there off of Wabash. It has like all the different... It's the organic store. Oh, yeah. Right you by Sonic. Mm. It's, it's right lime Sonic. green. Right it's by uh-huh. Sonic. It's not right by Sonic. It's or actually... By the store. No, this was the uh, only fantasy It's by the liquor had. store. Yeah. Liquor store and then the Asian produce store. Produce store. Okay. Yes. Okay, I know some over by Famous Liquors. <laughs> That's how you That's know. Me. That's oh, the landmark. Land like <laughs> I know that area. That's the landmark. Oh yeah, the liquor store. I, I got you. <laughs> yes, it's very thick. Um, I take it. It's very healthy. Yeah, yeah after you, you, eat you don't it, need meat no. after it. I bet you don't. It's so you thick. That's all you need. All oh, right. That Hello. one just drink filled after me it, though. a couple he's minutes. Not answer- well, he's no, we didn't me get now. the voicemail. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear Hello. you. Hello. This is, Hello. we have Katie Hall. Oh, my God. And Lady K. <laughs> Lady K. Lady K. Yes. I used to do radio here in Springfield, and my name was Lady K on So we here. have Lady K. And we have Petite Nina. Okay, Petite Nina. Hello. And I am Vincent Tennell, you know, who's mm-hmm. been talking to you all this time, Brandon. What a talent he's at. So tell the people <laughs> who we're speaking to. This is Brandon Lee. Hi, Brandon Lee. Hi, Brandon Lee. Brandon. Hello, okay, so Brandon, I met him off of, let me turn you, okay. Let me turn you up on my phone. All right. I met Brandon um, on the Speak Out Facebook. That's a group for gay black men. Okay. Young black, gay black men. And didn't somebody say give us like podcast links or something? Was that you or somebody else, Brandon? Um, I did do a post before looking for people that do a podcast. Yeah, and so you had hit me up because you do have a book. Then tell the people the okay, name of your Arthur book. Kung Fu. Brandon. The ver the, the version it's one. Virgin Porn Star Volume One. Okay. Virgin Porn Star. Something volume freaky. One. Now, how are you a virgin porn star? Well, I was a virgin when I started the blog, which is the basis of my book. Oh, okay. okay, I was trying to find your OnlyFans. Didn't you have an OnlyFans once, Brandon? Yeah, I still do. You okay. still do? <laughs> okay. No longer a version. <laughs> okay, so with the book, the thing about it is you were talking about basically you had made it your mission to want to lose your virginity? Yeah, when the book started, well, when I started my blog, I was 19, so I was a sophomore in college, and... I mean, that is pretty late. I feel like it's later than most people I know to still be a virgin, so... I didn't lose mine until I was 24. Oh, wow. Well, see, I rarely meet people that lost it after me because I thought I was, like, older than most when I lost mine. No. I'm still a virgin. Uh, don't be putting your brother out like that. No one knows who my brother is. No one knows who my brother is. And my brother's 30. Just putting that out there. Anyway. 30-year-old virgin. virgin. <laughs> and he's so cute. He is. And it's so not even like... adorable. He, yes, he, he is. is. He is. He is. But anyway. Is, huh? Is he cute? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 No, that's the thing. Uh, we don't we don't know. He's a virgin. Let's just say that. I'm you don't sure. know what you like until you, until you try it. Right? <laughs> okay. Seriously, like he's. But I mean, from but what I know, really know, he's a virgin, and you don't know even what he's into. <laughs> so I assume you know he says he's in the females, and like growing up, he's had several girlfriends. But 
he's just that's just not where his focus is. Like he has job, like he his own place, car, all that. Like it's not that's not the issue. He's just that's just not where his focus is. Like his his uh, what do you call it? His he has his drive. His drive is, is just like crazy, and I freaking envy it though, to be honest, because it's just like man, that has to be take a lot of willpower, a lot of willpower. What'd you say? It could be asexual. What's asexual? People that don't like sex? Yeah. That's a real thing? Is that a thing? Yeah, there's some people... Is it a myth? It gotta be a real thing. There's a word and classification for it. Some people just have no interest in sex at all. Bootylicious is in the dictionary, too. But <laughs> but that's crazy. I'm gonna run it by him. Well, he's gonna hear it. So <laughs> I don't think he's asexual. I don't know because he like, asexual to me is like weirdos. So when you're an asexual, does that mean you don't? Does that mean <laughs> he's you don't not a like, weirdo? Treat yourself. I think you can masturbate, but I feel like it's just asexuals. Usually, you have no interest in sex with mm-hmm. any other people. Like some. I think it's usually used for, like, organisms or maybe some animals, but it is just a real classification. Like, people can be asexual as well. It's just some people don't have sex. Like, they have no interest in having sex with other people. And what's so crazy to us is, like, that's so weird, but it's, like, to him, it's, like, we're weird. But it's the thing is, it's, like, he can't miss it because he's never had it. Like, so I get it 100%. You can definitely miss it. You can't if you never had it. But you can wake up with wet dreams. And yes, and there orgasm. goes the masturbation and stuff. But and you don't know what that other thing feels like. Unless... We need him on the show. We do need him on the show. <laughs> we'll ask you to be on the show. Remember? He did. Like, a podcast kind of sort of. But now he's say... scared of our content. Man, he's mm. like, y'all nasty, nasty. <laughs> Are we your brother? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Okay, Brandon. Okay, while we're on this subject, though, because what... You lost your virginity at 19? I was 20. It was one week after my 20th birthday. Do you wish you would have waited longer, though? No, I'm actually happy I waited as long as I did. I feel like I lost it with the right person, so I have no regrets. What's the right person if you're not with that person right now? Someone to make you comfortable, or...? Well, I feel like the right person is just not losing it to a random stranger or feeling, like, obligated, like... I need to go have sex because everyone else is having sex. There's no pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I lost someone I actually liked and had feelings for and had been hooking up with, like, for years. So I lost it to my high school crush. You know, like, I was in college at the time, but I had a crush on this guy for, like, years in high school, and then I ended up... Wait, was he straight in high school or gay in high school? He was straight. He had a girlfriend at the time. So he he wasn't straight, but he acted as so. Yeah, he He was straight, did you turn him out? Right. Oh, Brandon. Or was he bi? He was, like, bi curious. Okay, okay. So you turned him so out. So you turned him out. Don't you, you left the curiosity where it was at. Like, <laughs> Well, technically not if he's a virgin. He's not a virgin anymore. Did he take your virginity? Yes. So y'all oh. took each other virginity? In a way. Well, that's well, sweet. Never, Two he versions. had sex with girls. We had sex with guys before. So you... Uh, first guy. You were his first guy. Did you top him? I did. Oh, did wow. you guys both top <laughs> each other, though? It got spicy. The first time I topped him, and then, like, the next time he topped me. Okay. Okay, okay well. because you're femme, Brandon, so you know what they say, you know. There are lots of femme tops on me. Are they? Did he feel I some did. kind of way about you topping him? No, because I think he really was more into bottoming than topping, honestly. <laughs> but he was, like, uh, straight appealing. Like, he was trade. Yeah, he was, like, on the football team. He was, like, a big guy. Like Isn't that how it always okay. is? A big guy. Oh. You like big guys? He's big and strong. I do. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's strong. Pick me up. So why are you single right now? I mean, I was in a relationship, like, all of last year, but I dumped my ex at the end of the year, so I'm enjoying being single. Oh, why'd you dump them? You don't want to buy Christmas presents? <laughs> birthday gifts. <laughs> right, I'm I curious. I want to know what happened. In November, so I did get my birth. I dumped him right after my birthday. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, he oh didn't want to buy Christmas presents. You should have waited after Christmas so you would have got your gift. He got his gift. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. I did have some questions I wanted to ask you. I just now found them. Okay, so 
You have an OnlyFans. Do you feel like putting your body out there is going to affect your future relationships? Do you feel like you're going to find that person? Or do you feel like um, the culture is changing, you know, involving body positivity and nudity? Well, I've had my blog since 2010, and my blog is where I graphically detail all of my sexual encounters I've had since I was a virgin. But paper is very much different than your penis and your ass out. In a way, but I mean, people are still reading about me having sex with tons of different guys. Tons. Jesus. So you're right. You hit the ground running. Okay. He was like, okay, that was fun. <laughs> next, on but to the yeah, next. I was like, like the only hands isn't really like a big deal. And I also have my YouTube channel where I talk about sex all the time. So like, I've always been very sexually open and talked about sex. So I feel like it doesn't really scare guys off, considering if they've already knew who I was and know what I do. I feel like it's just you get to see pictures more, but it's like I already was showing my body like before. You just now get to see like the dick and ass out. (laughs) Yes, your YouTube is called Sex Per Tease, right? Yes. S-E-X-P-E-R-T-E-A-S-E. Okay. And is your OnlyFans, are you like making content with other people or is it just solo? I do both. You do both. How much you charge? It's eight ninety nine. There is a Pride Month sale right now. <laughs> Who got eight ninety nine in the room? So I can subscribe to Brandon's page. We're subscribing. <laughs> yes. We're subscribers. Are we subscribing? Go subscribe. <laughs> now, have you ever fucked a woman? No, I've always known I was gay. But <laughs> have you ever let a woman fuck you? <laughs> Peggy. No, I- Peggy. Good question. <laughs> at all. No? No, I'm not attracted to women. You're not attracted to women at all. Wait, so you say you were always, you always knew you were gay? Yes. Okay, so how does your family feel about that? Was it like uh, a big deal or they always knew and they accepted it? Well, since I am femme, it has always been obvious. I mean, I did have some like issues with, like, my father not accepting me being flamboyant, but, I mean, I never got, like, kicked out or anything. I'm an only child, so my parents have always been and provided for me, so there was never any, like, being disowned or anything. So were you molested growing up? No. Were Uh, you? uh Uh-uh. No, I always ask that because a lot Everybody of people that were, story and, that's their and it's actually nice to see people that are, I say, are authentically gay because I feel like if you were molested, you really never know if right. you're and really gay or not. Sucks. Right, because it's, it's like mm. people that feel forced, they forced to be. So I'm way. actually glad you weren't, mm-hmm. and so this is actually your destiny. This is your path, and we know that for mm-hmm. sure. Right. You get what I'm saying. I do encounter lots of like gay people, especially like black gay people that were very like sexual at like a young age. And I've talked to like many people that say like they started like doing sexual stuff at like nine or ten, and that's always so like disturbing to me since I'm like, oh wow, I didn't do anything. Like I didn't have my first kiss since I was like seventeen. So like, I just was like, oh honey, there's nothing wrong with that. I was still in the youth choir. I'm done. (laughs) (laughs) That part. (laughs) Do you believe Jesse Smollett is innocent? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lady K. Yes. <laughs> Jesse didn't do it. I am a huge Jesse Smollett fan, and mm-hmm. I hope he doesn't go to jail for this. I. That don't mean you don't think he's innocent. You know Are you think he's innocent enough? That he was innocent, but it was what? like, yes, this was like sometime back and Taraji had like made this post, like she always knew he was innocent, this, that, and the other. And it was like the story kind of faded after that. And then all of a sudden it comes back and he's guilty again. But she never had no details. Well, they said really that they had found out that he really did not have anything to do with Who it. Who said that? So he knew. Th- so allegedly, he knew the guys. Allegedly, he the took them the, to the big store. Nigerians. That's your type. Well, they the ones Brandon. that said it. They could have been lying on him. So they got him on like video footage and stuff. Like they got certain video. I don't know. I feel like they had that much evidence. He'll be stamped and sealed and sent off. Wow. Oh. <laughs> She's fighting for her man. That's just how it is. I love Jesse. I like him too. But leave Jamal alone. If the, if the <laughs> She said if the shoe don't fit, you So, Brendan, do you think he did it or not? 
I'm going to say I believe Jesse is innocent. Yay! You're See? lying. See? You trying to? No. You're lying. And you, you know what? No. After, you know what? After that happened, it was so easy to become his friend on Facebook. Oh. I could talk to him, inbox him right now. Oh, after he said he was the gay Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Speaking of Tupac, I seen some yesterday. It was his birthday last week. They said that he's still alive. That it's recent They've been pictures. saying that. They've I would not put that it past. It was more recent pictures. You know that he faked his death before. I was. Yes. They like today or. It was this week. Very. It was some he's day. Faked his yeah. Death I believe it cancer, for the simple fact that I didn't know until I watched. Cancers are crazy. That he didn't die right away. I always thought that he got killed at the scene. I didn't know that he was alive for like six whole days. That's and Illuminati like talk. Yeah, to come and see him yesterday. and visit him. Yes. And then all so of a sudden he, he died. So he didn't get ambushed in the car and die? They shot him up, but he, he, he was didn't, still alive. He didn't like die in the car. He didn't die. Even Faith Evans said he wasn't died. He wasn't and everything. dead. And I don't believe that he's dead because when you watch the movie, his Muslim brothers were trying to get him to disappear in the movie in the beginning when he first got shot. So do you think were, that he would he make a comeback? to do it. Two, He's do- already making a comeback in Slowly. his death. Slowly. He's got new songs with Drake. <laughs> like, okay. I'm about to go. So y'all. did Aaliyah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Brandon. And new pictures. Oh my goodness. They was like pictures were not this high def back when back he was in the alive. Day. And they're like, oh no, they use computers to clear the pictures up. Like, like they're like he was doing the um, what do you call it? Where they do the uh like the uh the 3D concerts. Mm-hmm. He was doing 3D concerts. Yeah. Holographic. The holographic, yeah, holographic concerts. Graphic. He came back with that. It's just like it was really like, him. He was right. in the back. I got some right. questions for like, Brandon. Because they was doing holographic. They going on. And on exactly. about exactly. see the effect <laughs> Tupac saying. has on people to this day. Yes, right. This day. But Watch I was going to ask you, you who's see. your favorite gay artist? Because we just did a music list, you know, some of our favorite tunes. I made a Pride playlist myself as well. Who? Himself. You're an artist? No, I made a playlist. He made like a playlist. Oh, I was like, I thought he said Well, who's, a, who's some of your favorite artists? Like, specifically gay my top five gay male artists. My number one is Mika. He's like British, so I feel like you probably won't know him. He's he white. Like, oh. He's a British. Yeah. British. <laughs> British don't mean white. You can be black and British. True, but... Do you only want the black ones or do you want the all of them? You all the black ones. The black yeah. ones. No, whoever you want to say. Just say something. No, don't try to change your mouth. I'm a fan. Who? Patrick Hall. Oh, I love him. Oh, okay, yeah. He's been on one of my yeah. lists before. It, yeah. He makes great music. I love Boys in the Ocean. I love that song. Mm. That is a good song. Yes. I lo- it yeah. feeds into my mermaid belief. I do believe in mermaids. I do too. Yes. Everything no that cap. walks the earth is under the water. Yes. So who else? Um, as far as black gay artists, I do really like Saucy Santana. All like- right. Okay, yes. I like Saucy Santana. Do you oh, like uh, Frank Ocean? Yes. Who does? I don't know his music. You don't like him? You don't? don't know he doesn't know his music, Lady K. <laughs> <laughs> After you just said no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have you have that. <laughs> <laughs> you just going hard for Frank. Okay, <laughs> I love him, though. I love him. I, I love his music. Get, I think I tried listening to his music before, but it's not like you couldn't get into it. Hmm. Um. Who else? I I'm just really... discovered Duran Bernard. Ooh, I love him. Yes, you know him, Lady K. Oh, Duran gosh. Bernard. He sings back up for Erica Badu too. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, period. He's a beast. Okay. He's a beast. You gotta be singing with Erica Badu. I'm always trying to build up my repertoire of trying to support the gay black men. So that's mm-hmm. why I asked you. You know. Do you know Kid Ken? I do. The rapper. Mm-hmm. I like his music. Yeah, he's he's interesting. <laughs> what about that Seven Deep guy? Do you know him? No, he's... you know Serpent with Feet? Who? Serpent with Feet. It's all one word. He's from Baltimore. He's like a black gay artist. I like his music. I don't know him. I know from Baltimore a guy named DDM. What is that name for? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find out what this actor is. <laughs> um, but there are a lot out there, you know what I mean? So I just feel like when we have our prides and stuff, I don't know why when we have prides, we don't have majority gay black mm-hmm. artists. It's yeah. always, let's get somebody else straight, which is cool. It's always Trina at every 
black. Yeah. <laughs> but the stage should be full of black gay artists because we have them. Yeah. We need to stop acting like they don't well, exist. Well, up to the show, Does you should be, seek out be, local like, gay like, black artists and have them perform, do a drag show, the whole nine. Oh, I won't be at the drag show. I like Sam I love Smith. Drag can, we, can we just put Sam Smith on the list, please? Okay. She said Sam Smith. You like Sam Smith? I just like Sam Smith. Who's your white artist? Because I love Sam Smith. I'm sorry. Because Nina loves white men, so she's oh, ready really? to hear. Yeah. Ooh, white chocolate. Yeah, that's her thing. Okay, white and bald. <laughs> <laughs> please have hair. Please have hair. Feel like I'm old Recessive y'all. traits. Yeah, I don't want no senior citizen. Cat daddies. Oh my goodness. Okay, so who? Yeah, we're gonna go with the. You missed the black art. Oh, yeah, who's the white people for Nina? Real quick. <laughs> for me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Adam Lambert. I, I like Adam. Yes. Adam. Yes. 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 yes, I like Adam. Yes. He sings for Queen now, the group Queen. Oh, he be really? traveling yes. and touring. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he his, from American Idol, right? His yes, yeah. his okay, boots yeah. be. Well, you know, I love me some boots, boots, child. He be wearing them boots before he became a queen. <laughs> you be wearing them boots? I ain't seen no pictures of you in boots, Brandon. Uh-oh. Let me find yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Now. Brandon's always naked. <laughs> Brandon Lee, that's what that's you go by, right? right? Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. I just want to make sure. Where do you want people to find you? Where's your your uh, social media handles that you go to the most? Not the ones you neglect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is there anything yeah. else you want to tell us before you go? Anything we missed? Anything you're trying to promote? I really i am glad you called in. Buy my book, Virgin Porn Star, Volume 1, on Amazon today. All, All right. right. Y'all have any more questions for Brandon Lee? No. Nope. Is it, can you get the um, actual, is it a physical copy of your book or is it just digital? Kindle. You can buy the actual physical copy. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. that is, that is. Yeah. Are you on Audible? You need to get that okay. going. Speaking into existence. Okay. Coming. Lady K will narrate it. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I will. Bring your personnel. I she love a freaky y'all. story. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling into the VTS podcast. And you be well. You have a great iconic night. And um, I'm going to text you when we're um, done with this. <laughs> Bye, Bye. It's nice talking to you. I love you. Mwah. 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 Bye. Yes, that was nice. So where Very are we on time, Zach? Eight minutes. Okay. Oh, wow, it went by fast. All right. We know nothing about you, Katie. The audience just knows you act a fool at this point. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's, let's find the Who Kate. is Lady K? Well, Lady K resides in Springfield. I'm originally from Chicago, the south side, uh, Inglewood. I'm 34, mom of two. I'm currently in school earning my bachelor's degree. Um, I work full time for a probation. Uh, <laughs> I'm not the police like everybody thinks. Because y'all um, sure did thought I had cannabis in my bag. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I was looking. Well, it's so funny because today I was at me. work and we were talking about like uh, weed and stuff, and I was telling them how many grams is this and that. And the girl that worked for parole, she's like, "Damn, you know more about it than me." Yeah, and she uh-huh. I got nervous, right? <laughs> I was like, um, "Yeah, I know how many grams come in an ounce." Yeah, she has a scale in her house. Yeah. <laughs> Bacon scale. <laughs> <laughs> Disclaimer. Bacon yeah, scale. just put that out there. Pies, cupcakes, all that good so stuff. So, how does someone from Inglewood, Chicago, end up in the patch? In Springfield. Uh, well, I was adopted, and my adopted family lived out here, and I ended up coming out here with them. Moved away for like four and a half years or so, and came back. I don't know why. Well, I kind of do because my sister um, at the time had a baby. And her baby passed away at two months old from SIDS. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I moved to be closer Support to her. Support system yeah. for her. And just kind of been here all this time. <laughs> now, you, I have to talk about these contacts because y'all love the way y'all okay. colored contacts. Well, this is actually these a are gray. look for me. Are those gray? They are gray. They're sterling gray. Okay, I like gray. Mm-hmm. Like gray. Do you know Ebony Wallace? Yes. Okay, she was on our show. Vibe Boutique? Yes. Okay, yes. 
Yes, we just uploaded that like two days ago. Okay. Yes. And so she had blue contacts. Yeah, I've seen her with her contacts. And I told her to try gray. Yeah. Because I don't like the blue. Well, see, for me, <laughs> sometimes it's crazy because I think my eye color is a little more lighter than I thought. So sometimes my gray looks a little blue at times, and I don't know why it looks like that. And then my hazel contacts look like my regular eyes. Well, what is it about people that just, y'all have to have these colored contacts? What is well, it Well, for me, I've been wearing glasses since the fourth grade, so I was trying What's to keep those regular, and just get a clear new, look, a new contacts. I had them, and I wanted color. But see, the thing you is, you can just put some eyeshadow color, on. She wanted color contact. Where's I wanted color. Problem? I wanted to have a new look. I wanted to be. A I new have thing. to the weave, speak for the, the audience eyelashes, because everything what is a people want to know is: is there some self esteem issues going on? No. Do y'all like not want to be black? No. Are y'all doing like the tiny there from SK? Because tiny eyes. changed her whole eye color. She wanted to have a permanent blue. Her and her daughter. Tiny, so, tiny is biracial. So, so it looks okay on her, no, but yeah. also it's no. like, why? No, it doesn't. I mm. think it looks okay the on blue her. Contacts on her. I mean, the blue because eyes she's no. she's damn near white. She is white. Her she's mom's like white. so. <laughs> <her>. <laughs> <laughs> matter, though, I don't know. I don't. It just looks too animated for me for her. Like, yeah, it just looks. Too and that was my thing when I first got the contacts. That yours was what I was asking natural. everybody. I was like, "Do I look like a lizard?" Right, yours look and more natural. Because like, no. <laughs> I don't, you know, you be outside. I don't see think they look, look like bad, a lizard. But I do ask questions for the people. It's not always just me badgering you. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it's always a thing about. I've had people be like, "Are those your real eyes? They look natural." Because they look like they can be. Yeah, I just and that was my thing. I didn't want anything that was gonna make me look scary. So why don't you wear your natural hair? I do. You do. I actually it's crazy and I wore this weave when I got this out because the person that I was with he felt like me wearing my natural hair all the time was black. me being nappy too black yeah his definition of getting your hair done is to go get a weave or go get some updo with some tracks in it. Like, if you go through my pictures, you'll see I wear my real hair all the time. You do, from so, your pictures on Facebook. So that's why when you came in here today... Yeah, it was a new look. I'm like, well, she got the contacts, she got the hair. Well, what's yeah. going on? What she wasn't in a Yeah. I, 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 but I but it's it. all, like, different synthetic. It was like, it's not that I can't mix it up. But, you can I, definitely I mix it up. Like, I mean, and I do like the reaction that I've gotten since I got it because it's something I would have never got on my own had mm -hmm. we not had that conversation. And even so when do I you went think out that, this man or... Do I what? Do you, do you think, think this man or not? No, I don't thank him because he's an ass. But... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like the look. I thought it was cute. And I was like, okay, maybe he was a little on to something. Not that I felt like my natural hair was nappy or anything, because I still love my natural look. I still like my fro, all of that. Mm -hmm. You know, I have really long natural hair. So when I go places, people are like, oh, I love your natural, this, that, and other. But it was just something that when he got to expressing himself and the way he came at me about it, it was just like, well, I could switch it up, you know? But see, I don't... What, and I get what you're saying, because people have to understand, just because you wear weaving, this don't mean you don't have hair. Exactly. It don't mean you can't grow your own hair, because like, sometimes people like me, I wear weaving my hair because I like different colors, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to put that damage on my hair, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But in the same instance, like, my hair is straightened right now, because mm -hmm. I just got back from the city, thanks to the Egyptians. That looks so it, good. Thank you. So I just I got thought back it was from... weave at first. Yeah, no, it's not straight. Yeah, so I need to like... go to the Egyptians. Yes, yeah, so thank you. I know, that's they do so good, so I just got back from the city uh, yesterday. Oh, you need to stay out the city. That part. I just got back from the city. I got my hair done, I came right back. I love it. I love it. But, like, the thing is, like, if I get my hair wet, though, I can put it in a fro. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it could be different. It doesn't really matter. Got you. It can be different. It doesn't really matter. Like yeah. I said, people were under the impression. Because I've seen people whose hair is longer than their weave. Sometimes I'll wear weave that's yeah. shorter than my hair. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I just want a shortcut, but I don't want to cut all my hair off. And see, that was my thing. Since I always had natural long hair, when right. I started wearing weave, I was doing 27 pieces. Okay, yeah. And then people thought I cut all my hair off. But they were like, it looks so good on you. It looks because natural. It looks real. sometimes people just want that different thing. Or that yeah, it's I just easier to, to put weave in or something like that. So I And it, it was me stepping outside my comfort zone and getting it more like a, I can do this. You know? And you, it looks but once good. I got it, I was like, Okay, period. He didn't like the backlash because then I got even more attention. Do you like the hair? I don't have a problem with anything. Okay. <laughs> Do you think? Are you trying to say that you think that um, I wanted to make needs to get those color contacts? <laughs> But you know what? Yes. I went to a store and this white girl We've was like... We've already had this conversation. Oh, look, the white girl was like, those are sterling gray. And I was like, yeah. She was like, I have the same contacts in. 
Yes. And they looked their natural it, on her like they looked on me. But it looked like a different kind of color contact, didn't it? Your uh, on her, different. yeah, yeah. I don't know about natural, but, but she they look knew good. exactly what color they were. You don't think those something can look good on you and, pe- and people still not think it's natural? There are I, black people with these color too. eyes. It's like it's me. like Nicki Minaj. I love when she has the colorful wigs and so, we mm-hmm. know that's not her hair, but I think she looks amazing I in think it. Her eyes mm-hmm. look natural. Nicki is Indian and uh, Asian. She has natural, long, pretty hair. She just chooses to wear the weaves. But to I know, the culture. I know when you put that pink and then lime green on. Like, we know that's not her hair, though. Right? Yeah, yeah. Because it's doing too much. And you'd be mm. bald-headed with all them styles yeah. she do if and it was her real. Like, I've never and colored that's my hair. Wear weed I don't do all of, of that to my hair. You can change it up without damaging mm-hmm. your hair. Or it, people just wear weed because they're bald-headed and they can't grow hair. But it can go either way. Yeah. So. I don't I don't We're have a beautiful problem either with way. It. I just wanted to address the elephant in the room because it was a big difference from what I usually see from you to now. Even at work. Yeah, you never seen her. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah. I never it's a big difference. Even okay. my coworkers was like, you got these eyes now, you got this <laughs> hair. They just like, you don't even look like the girl that got hired here. And but I'm like, people can do whatever they want to do. I certainly do it's whatever I want to do. And people should stop assuming just because black women want to have long hair, different color eyes that they want to be white. Yeah, that's true. Girl, don't be doing that that's because true. you like. Um, because we can't say if a white girl wants to get braids that she, she wants to be, to be black. black. I know. She's just trying to recover from like in pink me. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a recovery. It's not a recovery process. Okay. All right. This is the Vincent Tennell show. Hola, wait for me. Dina, if this podcast was a vagina, it would be the Kim Kardashian because it's golden. Oh, okay. No, I'm okay. going to beg to differ on that. I was going to say it would well, be Well, it's already open. on our Spotify account. Oh, that's what's Now, we're a golden vagina? That's like our description. That's our description. I'm about to go. When people look I'm us good. up. <laughs> I wonder why the views Yes. Are is her pussy not golden? I haven't had it. Who's say. pussy? Kim Kardashian. I don't think it's golden. I think it's produced think a lot it's of gold, a, a lot of coins. It's been around Coinage. Long. She had. She was born into coins. She really, Her father was see, a famous and attorney. Thing, let, let, be listen. Like, oh, she came famous off of but sex tape. She, but yes, that's even more impressive. It's had. even more impressive to make a way for yourself. Own. It's even more impressive. Except but she had she a just, good stardom, though, because even if it wouldn't work from her mouth and her vagina, I mean, that sex you think tape is, is an excellent start. She still would have had money anyway. They're like, Dad, that father, that didn't work. Listen. If I would have been giving her like a story. I was thinking about dropping a sex tape of Petit Nina Stop Me. I was going to leak it myself. <laughs> Who leaks them? <laughs> I am done with him. Right and then now. I was gonna act mortified. Right, like, what? <laughs> I'm like Aaron Stubby. We already know. Oh, this is me. Natural hair, glasses. Beautiful. She looks beautiful. That's you. Yeah. yeah. When was this second? What, like May twenty six? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's a big difference. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's a big difference. Hey, she's... Yeah. <laughs> now, now you see what I'm talking wait, about. Wait, I'm not trying to look at your ass, but <laughs> I am. But, like, if y'all just see the picture, I just... Katie's saw... always had it a dog. too much of Katie's Katie's Where's the ass at? Katie's got his own show. <laughs> Clearly, I, wait, I, had to turn, I had to take a silent because the picture I just saw, like... Yes. Maybe she, I didn't see you when you came I talked to my girl when I had my dress on today. I said, this is the dress I bought when I was dating this guy that was a seven-day Adventist. I was just like about... me to wear four I was going to say you got so on your like, Betty Shabazz dress. Right, this, this is it your now. Muslim my gear. My was like, uh, no, you need to show that. I get it now. Okay, it's a big difference. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. Yes. Okay. All right. So, um... Check for our next episode. We're doing two episodes tonight. Yes, yes, Can yes. Can you breathe? Because last time we were supposed to do two episodes, y'all left because y'all were so damn hot. The it's AC pretty was hot a little in here. off. Y'all had me in here with this little bitty ass heater fan. It was just too much. Not okay, a heater so fan. she's gonna <laughs> she's gonna Man. stick around. I can't be hot this time. My shit just gonna be. It's just gonna flare up and it's not gonna be good. All right, so y'all stick around for the next we'll episode. Be back. We only got two episodes left. You know that? We do. Yeah. So sad. Y'all gonna miss us? Hate to see you go. Cash app us. Aww. All right, icons out. Bye.